Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. How are you, friends? I hope uh, you are fine. And now, in this uh, lecture, that is the probability uh, lecture on probability. Uh, this is the second lecture. I hope you have already watched part one and part two as well. This is the third lecture. So I am going to discuss probability. Some more concept about the probability. So let us start the topic today. In probability, uh, we will describe the types of events. We have already discussed about the uh, null event and sure event, but some more types of events are there uh, which we should know. Types of events. One is called a simple event. Simple event and a simple event. The event in which the event in which favorable outcome favorable outcome is only one only one called simple event called simple event right favorable outcome is only one for example uh, when a dice is thrown when a dice is thrown Die. When a die is thrown, die is thrown, and we wish that four will come, four will come, then it is a simple event. Simple event. Right, because favorable outcome is only one. Here, simple space is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but favorable outcome is only 1, that is 4. So, this type of event is called simple event. Right. The next type of event is called compound event. Compound event. The event in which event in which favorable outcomes are outcomes are more than once are more than once are more than once favorable outcomes are more than once are more than one for example if i am writing here that when a dice is thrown is thrown and we wish that the number appear on its top is at least four at least four at least four in that case the favorable outcomes will be in that case favorable outcomes will be four five and six at least at least so this will be a compound event so it is a compound event or at most five then it will be a compound event like this so these are the types of events one is complementary event then there is one term called complementary event complementary event complementary event if a be any event any event then complementary event of a complementary event of A is described as described as not A or A dash or A complement like this denoted like this and defined as 
defined as probability of a complement is equal to 1 minus probability of a that is the probability of an event and its complementary must be equal to 1 p a and p a naught is equal to 1 remember this so complementary event of p a dash h 1 minus p a so like this I hope you got it. Complementary event. Algebra of events. We will uh, discuss and uh, some algebra of events. Now there is an, uh, some other terms that is uh, algebra of events. Algebra. So one is called um, you know the set from set theory that probability of a this is a set a and this is a set b there are two set one is set a another is set b in that case what will happen um, this is a set a and this is a set b then uh, the common region between them is described as a intersection b this is what a intersection b this is what a intersection b this region is described as a intersection b right so this is a intersection b if uh, from set theory if i write here n a union b then this is n a number of elements in a plus number of elements in b minus number of elements in a intersection b number of elements in a that is this one number of elements in b that is this one but this has been added twice so that is why we need to subtract ones so this is now if i divide all these things by ns n a union b divided by ns is equal to n a divided by ns plus n b divided by ns minus n a intersection b divided by n s then what will happen this formula will comes like probability of a union b is equal to probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a intersection b this is what uh, a rule called algebra of uh, probability Pro algebra of probability so this is a compound event a union b either a or b the event is described as a union b it means either a or b <coughs> event is described as a or b so this is a what here that probability of a intersection b this is a rule rule of probability so here we can write algebra of events algebra of events right so these are algebra of events so here uh, this is a and b number of a number of b minus number of b. only a means what so by set theory this is a set theory or by venn diagram by venn diagram we know that when diagram we know this one this is the rule from set theory and we can use it like this so probability of this is a formula we need to remember this formula and this means union means or an intersection means end you understood it now there is a one thing that a and b are two events we can write if a and b are any two events if a and b are any two events two events then such that such that this is what probability of a union b is equal to this then we can have this formula <coughs> now uh, there is one term that is called uh, mutually exclusive event exclusive event 
exclusive, mutually exclusive events. Events. Two or more events are said to be mutually exclusive events. Definition. Two or more events are said to be mutually exclusive event exclusive events if any two of them them cannot happen together cannot happen together for example when a coin is tossed head and tail cannot come together head is one event tail is one event but both of them cannot come together so that is why they are mutually exclusive event so if uh, a and b if a and b are mutually exclusive event mutually exclusive events then probability of a intersection b is zero since they cannot happen together and therefore probability of a intersection b is zero so remember this fact now there is one more term that is called exhaustive event event exhaustive event exhaustive event exhaustive events exhaustive events two or more events are said to be exhaustive events two or more events are said to be exhaustive events if at least one of them happen one of them happen so if a and b if right if a and b are exhaustive events then probability of a union b is equal to 1 similarly if a and b a b and c are exhaustive event similarly if a b and c are exhaustive event exhaustive events then probability of a union b union c is equal to 1 i hope you got it okay so these are few basic concepts i hope you understood it well and now let us discuss some questions so that uh, we will be uh, able to understand whether this apply uh, this can be applied so exercise we are going to discuss from the exercise question 16.2 right and the question is here from exercise 16.2 question is the first question very first question a die is rolled a die is rolled rolled let e be the event let e be the event event die soj 4 die soj 4 and f be the event and f be the event die soj even number die soj even number Die so even number. 
R, E, and F are mutually exclusive. R, E, and F are mutually exclusive. R, E, and F are mutually exclusive. Mutually exclusive. Okay, now we will describe with the simplest space and then we will be able to understand whether they are mutually exclusive or not. So, E be the event that die search for. So, die search for. So, E is simplest space for E will be solution. Simplest space for E will be described as die search for. For. A die is wrong, die search for. This is the simplest space. And for F, die search an even number that is 2, 4 and 6 on die here E intersection F is 4 which is not 0 and therefore probability of an simple space is simple space is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 right so number of element in simple space is 6 and number of elements of E intersection F is 1 and therefore probability of E intersection F which is a number of E intersection F upon number of elements in simple space and that is 1 upon 6 which is not equal to 0 and therefore E and F are not mutually exclusive. Therefore E and F are E and F are not mutually exclusive. Right? I hope you got it. Now the next question is question number 2. And it is given that a die is thrown. Describe the following event. A die is thrown. And uh, describe the following event. Describe the following event. The following events. First, a number less than 7 and greater than 7. A number is less than 7. A number is less than 7 number is less than 7 less than 7 right second a this event is a number less than 7 the second is b a number greater than 7 number greater than 7 Third point, C event is a multiple of three number, a multiple of three, a multiple of three and D is described as, D when described as a number less than four, a number less than 4 and fifth one each described as even each described as a, an even number greater than 4 and even number greater than 4 greater than 4 and sixth a number not less than 3 a number not less than 3. So, if I am going to write the simplest space for uh, all these, so what would be A? A is described as a number less than 7, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all these numbers are less than 7. 
b is the even number greater than 7 on die is not possible so this is empty empty space null set impossible event c is a multiple of 3 on dice is 3 and 6 d is simple space that is a number less than 4 that is 1 2 and 3 e is an event that uh, simple space can be even number greater than 4 that is 6 and f is the number not less than 3 not less than 3 it means 3 4 1 and uh, number is less than 4 1 2 and 3 right now and e is the event that number an even number greater than 4 that is 6 and f is that a number not less than 3 it means 3 4 5 6 these are not less than 3 so these are few events that has been described here now the question also find here is question also find find a union b a union b a union b a intersection b b union c b union c p e intersection f and d intersection e d intersection e and a minus c a minus c d minus e and e intersection f dash e intersection f dash and f dash these are the few questions that we have to deal with so a union b a union b is because b is an empty set so a union b is a itself so let me write one by one a union b is nothing else but uh, a 1 2 3 4 5 6 union b is empty set so it will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 right a intersection b is nothing else but the same thing 1 2 3 4 5 6 intersection empty set a is an empty set right now the third part of the question is b union c b union c b union c so b is this and c is what c event is multiple of 3 that is 3 and 6 so anything union with empty set will be an 3 6 that will be c 3 6 so b union c is there now e intersection f e intersection f what is that so e is a event an even number greater than 4 that is 6 intersection f is an event a number not less than 3 not less than 3 is 3 4 5 6 so in that case what will be there 6 right so that will be 6 now uh, the next question is d intersection e d intersection e and d is what d is described as a number less than 4 that is 1 2 3 and intersection e is what e is 6 so in that case what is common nothing common so it will be 5 or this or 5 you say d intersection is there now the next one is a minus c a minus c a is 1 2 3 4 5 6 minus c is what c is multiple of 3 that is 3 and 6 so if i remove 3 and 6 out of it what will have 1 2 4 5 that will be answer a minus c the next one is d minus e so d is nothing else but 1 2 3 and e is 6 so 6 cannot be taken out from it so it will remain 1 2 3 itself right now d minus e 
E intersection F complement. So F complement is what? F complement is except if the remaining item of simple space 3, 4, 5, 6, if I remove, then F complement is nothing else but uh, 1, 2 F complement. Right? F complement is NS minus F. That is 1, 2. So E intersection F complement is E intersection F complement. So E is 6 and intersection F complement is 1, 2, nothing common. So it will be also 5. So that will be the answer of this question. I hope you got it. Okay. So this is a long one, but uh, still you can learn many things out of it. Now there is a question third. An experiment involves rolling an experiment. Involves rolling a pair of dice, rolling a pair of dice, pair of dice, rolling a pair of dice, and recording the number that comes up, and recording the number that comes up, comes up, right. Recording the number that comes comes up. Describe the following events. Describe the following events. Following events. Describe the following events. First, A. The sum is greater than 8. The sum is greater than 8 greater than 8 b 2 occur on either dice 2 occur on either dice either dice on either dice and the sum is at least 7 C is the event that the sum is at least 7. The sum is at least 7 and a multiple of 3 and a multiple of multiple multiple of 3. Right? Uh, which pair of these events are mutually exclusive? Which pair of these events are mutually exclusive? Which pair of these events are mutually exclusive? Mutually exclusive. This is what question. Sum is greater than 8. Sum can be 8, 9 or 10, 11, 12 because a pair of dice is rolled. So sum can be 9 and 9 can be possible. Let me write here only. So in this question I am writing here this is sum can be 9, 10, 11 and 12. So A event can be. Let me write in solutions. In solution Even A will be simple as this for a 9. 9 can come like 6, 3, 3, 6, 4, 5, 5, 4. Right now, nothing else. 10 can come 6, 4 and 4, 6, 5, 5. Then 11 may come in 5, 6 and 6, 5. And 12 may come in 1 way, 6, 6. So A is this event. Sum is greater than 8. B 2 occur on 1 dice. It means B is the event that 2 1, 2 2, 2 3 occur on either dice. 2 occur on either dice. 2 4, 2 5, 2 6 and 
वन टू थ्री टू फोर टू फाइव टू सिक्स टू दिस इज वॉट बी द सम इज एटलीस्ट सेवन एटलीस्ट सेवन सेवन एंड मल्टीपल ऑफ थ्री सम इज एटलीस्ट सेवन एंड मल्टीपल ऑफ थ्री सो मल्टीपल ऑफ थ्री इज नाइन एंड ट्वेल्व सो सी इज द इवेंट दैट सम कैन बी नाइन दैट इज फोर फाइव फाइव फोर सिक्स थ्री थ्री सिक्स नाइन एंड ट्वेल्व कैन बी सिक्स सिक्स सो दिस इज एन इवेंट सी ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इज वॉट एज ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इज देर एनीथिंग कॉमन सिक्स थ्री थ्री सिक्स फोर फाइव सम इज नाइन टू वन टू थ्री टू सिक्स दैट कैन नॉट बी नाइन राइट वन थ्री दैट कैन नॉट बी नाइन सो ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इज फाइव नथिंग कॉमन एंड देर फोर ए एंड बी आर म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव right b intersection c is what that is nothing not b intersection c is a sum is there it is also five nothing common and therefore b and c are mutually exclusive mutually exclusive a intersection c is it there Is uh, four, five, nine. Nine can come. Twelve can come. So is four, five. Intersection C is four, five, and uh, four, five is common. Four, five is common. Five, four, six, three, three, six. Isn't it? So these are common, and six six also common. So therefore, A and C are not mutually exclusive. Mutually exclusive. Exclusive, right? So they can happen together. So A and B are mutually exclusive. B and C are mutually exclusive, but A and C are not mutually exclusive. so i hope you understood this how to deal with uh, this type of questions we will discuss some more questions after the break till then take care of yourself bye bye thank you god bless you and uh, if you haven't subscribed this channel do subscribe this and if you want to uh, pursue a course for je main or in advance uh, you can contact us on our email or number which is given in our website www.rvnc.com or you can download app our app movie sala with enter the institute code ars a2020 so thank you thank you very much god bless you